May I have your attention, please? Uh, Mavis has transcribed the uh, minutes. This is a little bit that we got here. The minutes of the Antioch uh, Primitive Baptist Church from 1836 to 1978. Uh, you want to stand up and take a little bow? <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is they're interested. They certainly are. Uh, and what's What's to be done with them next? I want somebody to put them on a disc. A disc? Okay. I want somebody to put them on a disc. I've got them on my computer and I've got them printed out. We think that's the best way to preserve them with what information and technology we have now is put those things on a disc. Did you hear her request? I uh, sold my disc, but I still got my horror. <laughs> I'll give it a try now. I don't know where I can or not, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> That's a fun result. Uncle, Uncle Milty said he'll give it a try. Yeah, I ain't going to guarantee it I can do it, but okay. I'm getting old and feeble. Well, we should buy a disc to put them on. Hmm? We should buy a disc to put them on. Such a thing. Oh, I, I missed the first part of this. You're talking about putting the minutes of the antioxidants. Yeah, bring us up to date. I'm, I'm not. Uh, Book one in the library. I'm looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, I, I can put, if you have it typed up, I can put it on a disk. I've got it, I've got, this is book two and three. All right, he knows how. Let, let but I can't do sure. it from the type, I have to have it from the computer. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, I can do that. Uh, I guess I can see it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I know I didn't have that. Try to send it and get this Okay. Yeah, I have painted this. Robert Harris, the majors, all three majors now. No, he just has the first two. We're looking for the first two. Oh, he has two and three. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's what I understood, too. I, I was confused when the question first came up. No. <laughs> it was not those. He was looking for Well, I brought back to you. The scan copies, yes. and they're over there in the corner. You yeah. take, take with them. So we'll get that. We'll get that straightened out. Then. <laughs> the, most of most of the minutes uh, in one of the books. I didn't look at both of them. I, I looked at two. The one she's already finished, and one of those. Most of them are just you know business minutes. Uh, they have their worship service. They call their meeting, take their seats. Mm -hmm. uh, they bless everybody and uh, wish for peace and then go home, but every now and then something pops up. And those are the interesting things. Uh, uh, they, uh, some of them are important. They were, they were going to decide when just established the church, you know, where they were going to meet and uh, who had the property uh, and when they would start washing feet. Uh, that was coming up and they had to work on that one for a while. Uh, and uh, what else did they want to know? Uh, communion service? Yes. Uh, two Sundays a year for communion. Uh, and they didn't mention their piano because they didn't have one. Uh, <laughs> you doing it? Snake handling? Uh, not these people now. This no. is a primitive Baptist church. <laughs> they probably did, but it was down on the farm mostly. <laughs> uh, the, only, the things that interested me, though, was that they had, uh, I, I guess at the close of every service, they had an opportunity for anybody to complain about anybody else if they wanted to. Uh, and it, that was lovely. Uh, and uh, they called the uh, senior citizen old lady. I don't know why, but I guess it was probably all right in those days. And I remember reading one where old lady Jones said uh, old man Smith had insulted her and she wanted something done about it. Uh, and uh, let's see, oh, they, they dismissed some people for uh, the use of alcohol and for not coming to church. I'm sure it was medicinal purposes on the alcohol, but still they dismissed them anyway. There was a confession of uh, sins occasionally when somebody said he had put up with something just as long as he could and then told the guy what he thought of him. Uh, probably in French or something, but uh, he, wanted, he wanted repentance for that. That's the sort of thing I read and I don't know them. Uh, I, you can. For historical purposes, besides just plain interest, uh, you can find the names of those people who Tippa County is probably have relatives there. James Childers, uh, senior, was mentioned. He's my third great grandpa. 
Well, uh, uh, would you give uh, Mavis a generous donation to get these things all square away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's like everything else. I understand it's in the library in the genealogy room. It's there for your use. Uh, and I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, a friend of mine, actually a Presbyterian preacher, yeah, I have some Presbyterian um, I have some Presbyterian relatives. Uh, he told me that uh, he was going through some minutes somewhere uh, uh, from a Primitive Baptist church. And he said that when they call their meeting, now, I'm fixing to blush, so just wait here. When they call their meeting, uh, there was somebody there who complained that he had seen a couple who was recently married dancing in their own house. Uh, and he wanted that straightened out. Now, what he was doing looking through their window, I have no idea. Probably didn't have a curtain on. <coughs> Jerry? Yes? This, I, these books also have a list of the members, which is very good genealogical yes. information. There's historical and genealogical information in that mm -hmm. book. And you don't have to read the whole thing. I think I've got them enough in the back yes. that you don't have to read the whole book to find your ancestor that was in that book. I noticed that complete, uh, complete name records in the back. There's the church's charter, I guess they called it, and certainly the restatement of their creed and things like that, uh, and their, uh, their worship services and what they're going to be doing. Uh, I was just telling Jerry that Pat told me right after we were married, we was living in Slim Road's house, uh, we lived in the Slim Rose's garage is where we were living. Uh, and uh, Pat said, I'm going to teach you how to dance. Well, I had never danced in my life. Uh, and she grabbed me up, and my face got red, and my ears got hot. And I said, let's, let's don't do this. <laughs> and we still take this. And I still take this. <laughs> uh, John R. Wall is our November speaker from... Uh, Walnut, he has special interests uh, in union veterans from Tippa County. Please don't boycott the meeting or throw rocks while we're in here. But that's his, that's his specialty, union veterans uh, from Tippa County in the Civil War. Uh, the museum uh, and archives are also his interests. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. I, I, I'm sure that his graduate degree would qualify him for a job in a museum if that's what they wanted, but certainly he presently is involved in archives related to public school and its dining room and its menus and its books and that sort of thing. Uh, that will be in our November meeting. Uh, we're interested in finding a place in the old jail archive for historical preservation that we have. Uh, I don't know where. I talk to Miss Hurt about it every now and then. Uh, and we, I, sure, it was built to store those big old books and they will do that. Uh, but. Uh, couldn't we find a corner somewhere to put uh, little old books in there and notes and things like that? Uh, if uh, Mr. Bullard would clean out the old jail cell that was left there and get his stuff out of it, we might come up with something, or we might try to avoid it altogether because it's part of the historical significance of that place. Uh, what do we want to know? Uh, a scanner report. Anything to say? Yay or nay? We've got all the parts. Need somebody that knows how to put them together. Oops. We've got computer and a uh, computer and camera and stand and everything. I, I think we've got everything. Mm -hmm. well, Robert, Robert Jackson, Robert Jackson, Jackson looked at it and gave me a list, and Tom has ordered it, and we've got it. Yes. Who's going to put it together? Sounded like he was going to be using it. <laughs> well, <laughs> he has contact with me. Really? He wanted to uh, copy that. Uh, first anti-art book, and that's why I'm looking for it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. He was really impressed with yeah. the camera. He says, I'm going to write that, that down and buy, buy another camera. That's what I'm going to write. He has a good camera. Okay. He's got the best camera for the money. What did you say his name was? Robert Jackson. He's the fellow that's particularly interested <coughs> uh, in the Antioch churches. Well, yeah, right there. Yeah. As soon as he or Christina, one or both of them together, can get get over there and put it together. Mm -hmm. I think it's ready. Yeah, it's oh, so. You've got it located where you want it, as I yeah. understand. And uh, it's in Deborah's office right now. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the old where the where the Latter Day Saints did their scanning, seemed to be the places I, in it. I think it'd be safe there because mm -hmm. if 
Well, everybody needs to decide that. I mean, we, the group needs to decide if it's going to be there or not. Now that the keys have been minimized, that's going to help. Everybody doesn't have a key, and that's going to help. Right. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know where to put it. I, 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 as far as location and everything, the hallway is where the others work. It looks like to me that everybody that's using the, the archives, like the, the, the two clerks, Circuit and Chance Clerk, they both go through Deborah. Uh, that there's there's some professionals that that he sends over there that that he says they ought to have access to. It. Uh, so that he he gives them the key. But that's the only, as far as I know, that's the only key other than what they're has. And the clerks have it on their own possession. Yes. So there, there is limited access to it. Uh, if you'd like to have a special meeting and we have nothing going on in our next one to work up a. The use of the scanner thing, where? Uh, we have to get it all put together and it's working. We've used the, the with our little camera, we've used the stand and it, and it makes better pictures than, than if you just hold it. Yes. We've got pretty good pictures of our little old cheap camera. So I think we're going to get some good pictures. We don't have a September meeting. We want to talk about location and use of the scanner. It's just me. Well, when Robert gets it set up, we need to have anybody that's planning on using it to come and yeah. have a training session. Yes, we do. Yeah. We do. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, this, the archives, it, it, it's working. We've got Marsha's getting uh, emails from people from all over, and Deborah's getting a lot of people in there coming in and, and emails. And, uh, and they're finding stuff. They're using our index, and they're actually finding papers, finding information. So it's the thing's working good. We just got a lot more to do. You find if you can find something. Yes. <laughs> Our index of those uh, clerk's records that's been opened and spread out and filed in plastic tubs, is that our index? Well, no, we no. have an index. It's index. about 70 pages of names. 70, got, 70 you pages, can, you can double, look up whatever double you lines. Want. It tells you what folder to go to. Of every back. folder we've done. Okay. And it's by it's alphabetical. But that's, that's what we've... That's what we have indexed is those uh, all all those park records that's been are indexed. Okay. okay. There, there's a lot more to do though, so yes. we need a lot of all the kids. Sure. To do what? Open up the open up the card, make cards, cards make yeah, folders. And all You're gonna kind be next. Of stuff. A lot of <laughs> How did those girls work out? They worked out pretty good. Okay. They did. They didn't work real right now. They, they, they didn't work hard. Or real hard when they were there, isn't But <laughs> they did they did do a lot. Yes. We we're further along on the county. That's there. right. Yeah. Well they the, did all right. The mayor located them and funded their money to them and, and so I said it's a smooth operation for for no expense to us and very little trouble. I think we'll get them back next year but I will tell the mayor. <laughs> You're next. I know this uh this club is dying out. Our, one of our goals is dying out to make money. That's right. But I'm wondering, you know, we sure don't get any money out of our dues. But I'm wondering, is there any way with this set up or the people <coughs> contacting, is there any way we could at least recover costs? Is there any way we could, uh, I mean, even ask for a donation or anything? I mean, people are going to be using this. And what, how much do we spend? Four or six hundred dollars? Uh, almost two thousand. Is there any way we can at least recover our cost on this deal? Absolutely. Uh, uh, this is August. Well, tell me how. I'm going to. In <laughs> September is our next meeting. We elect officers in October, and you're going to be our new president. And no, you're going to organize no, no, no. a fundraiser. <laughs> it puts people like me in a peanut gallery to keep you straight. <laughs> you I, think, I think we ought to figure out some way. <laughs> These people that are using the archive, finding it, finding information. I think we ought to charge them for for lookup time or for copies or CDs. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, at least we cover costs. Sure. Right. At least for copies. Everybody else. Oh yes. Yeah. CDs too special. Yes. Now, I think anything comes out of there for private use should be paid for. Absolutely. But right. see, we don't make copies. We email it to them. Yeah. So I mean, they're going to say, "How do you charge?" I'm going to pay for it. Email. True. I don't know. Ah. We're going to have to figure out some way, some yeah. other way. Uh, Say, give me $5 now. When, when the library <laughs> faxed, it was That's a dollar for the cover page and 25 cents thereafter. Is that the way that works? <clears throat> oh, it's 
Three dollars for the first page. Three dollars for the cover. Uh, page. I think a dollar for each additional page. Okay, that's what that's the way the library handles well, their, their, their electronic. No matter what it is. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's why they handle their electronic gear, and uh, so. Uh, and I don't know how we compare with Oil Rich Texas, but it was a man up here paying 25 cents in the library one day for copies, and he wasn't complaining because he said he cost him a buck back home in Texas. Mm -hmm. So I know there's people charging a dollar for whatever work they, they get, whatever pages. Uh, I think I paid, when I wrote to the Athens Archive, I think I paid a dollar a page and two dollars per picture. Well, I've got somebody that wants a copy of, of all this thing. And I told her, I said, well, it costs you. She said, I don't care. That's what they might be able to sell it in print or on CDs one. Yeah. Somebody ain't got it confused. Yeah, she, she wants it on print because she she's not computer-wise. But I told her to take a picture of it and I'll hand it on yes. the computer, but I didn't have it But I printed it out, but I didn't know how to charge her. Well, do, do we need it? We'd have to have a copy if we're going to copy it. Well, we can't copy it on the library and, and charge for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I can copy has got a copy, but we can't use hers. That belongs to TCDF. Yeah, but if you buy your own copy, that's more money there. And right. you got to buy the ink yeah. and then right. if it messes up, you got to call service to come, and you'd be better off to pay the quarter. <laughs> you put it on, you put it on <laughs> well, CD. I, I you put it, 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 it on yeah. CD for $10. I've got a job here at my eight, eight and a half, eleven. That is yeah. large. That's about what you're going to do with it. And uh, just the ink and the uh, and, and the paper. But most people don't even want a paper copy now. They want a if, CD. CD. If they've got a computer, CD. they want a CD. Mm -hmm. yeah. And well, CDs are cheap. Yeah. We could make them a CD and put all the papers on it they want for say. $10, yeah, uh, and we'd be making money. CD's cheaper, we'd be cheaper than paper. Well, yeah. It's cheaper than mail, too. Well, I think yeah, a lot cheaper. Buying ink and paper. Ink and paper costs a lot, man. Yeah. Marsha, uh, make a note for the September meeting, and we will discuss in detail and take suggestions and vote and whatever on uh, the use of the archive, the sale of the material, Whatever we need. We do the, we do the CDs more than buy anything else yeah. other than the CDs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon the, the external gear that goes with it is where everything is stored. Uh, I didn't even look at it. Just a CD. The little black oh, box. You got CD? I can get you some CDs and we can print something on top of them. The tower? No, the little black box where you're after you've scanned it where the information goes. Oh, the, the removal. The external drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's where we store everything. Right. I think so. Is access easy? Yeah. Get in, oh, yeah. get out, anything you want? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we will want to talk about CDs. We will want to talk about printing, if somebody wants something printed, uh, or whatever, and the price. Uh, what else? The scanner report, the Criswell. Oh, the Criswells want to have a meeting. Uh, and it's not their fault. Uh, they've been turned down a time or two, but they'd like to have a meeting with the Jackson uh, Historical Archive people. They uh, offered to come once, and the program fell through, and they didn't get here. And I think uh, pump them up, and give them back. I'd like for them to come. Last I talked to them, they were still planning on coming back. Yes. Uh, it'd be an important meeting and a good one to have over there in the archive when we have the meeting. Yes. Learn how to use it. Right. Yeah. Somebody it's asked me, simple. you can fess up if it were you, I don't remember. Does anyone have Marjorie Johnson's family and historical files? Are they here? Are they available? I don't know. She called me last week and I asked her to give me Susan's phone number. Yes. But I haven't gotten it yet. Well, that was the point. Uh, I wanted to get Susan's. Those are the people that I contacted something about whatever. But no, it was, uh, it was Bobby's people. That's who I was dealing with him, so I don't know about it. Marjorie. Marjorie is in Columbus yeah. in an assisted living place. <clears throat> and uh, I asked her to give me Susan's address and her, her phone number, but I thought I could talk to Susan and find out where her materials are. She's got a, a ton of material. That's what I thought. And uh, somebody needs, I don't know how, I don't know how it is. It may have to be 
itemized and, uh, you know, put in some sort of order, because I don't know what kind of filing system she had about like mine, probably. Yeah, <laughs> is she happy where she is? Yeah, she's very happy where she's at. She said it's a nice place. She's there Monday through Friday while Susan teaches school, but she goes over to Susan's on weekends. And she says it's a nice place, the food is good, and she's happy as a mark. Is Susan live down there at Dalton? Uh-huh. Who is this? Margie Johnson. Oh, okay. Are all of Bobby McDowell's papers in the genealogy room at the library? Is there anything that we could contact her family? Her daughter has them. Her daughter has them. She sent uh, a notebook. I don't know how much it is, but in Well, there are several books and things she sent, the things that she wanted to donate. Yeah. That she has donated. The, and they're, they're in the library. They have been donated. The things she wants to donate. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make a note, please, that the things that Bobby's family wanted donated are in the library. You got the Mildred Mark books, too, haven't you? Kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some books. <laughs> in uh, the October meeting, uh, John Mark has invited Cynthia and Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. They are uh, they are mountain trekkers and done the Appalachian Trail and they have what other interests? Well he's also retired as the main ranger that was at Shiloh. Yes. Uh, he retired to that office and uh, she's won several awards for the Weir Conservative Green Awards and this that and other. They're both pretty outstanding folks and, and uh, they walked the Appalachian from out from Atlanta all the way up to uh, or Maine or whatever, and uh, they're going to tell us all about it, how many pair of shoes they wore. <laughs> I mean, blessed you. Know. That's our October meeting now. If we want to talk archive, let's talk next month. I mean, because we're going to have a program. We're going to have a program today, too. Uh, <laughs> Tim Needham's toy vehicles are still on display in the museum. will be for another month or two. Uh, I have no note for the September meeting, but I do now. Let's see, archives. Okay. Uh, are, uh, does anyone know of an old cemetery on Highway 2 past County Road 540 in a pasture? 540, I think, is uh, Mount Olive. Uh, and I've only been told it used to be, maybe still there, in a pasture. Uh, and the uh, Gibson Cemetery is up on the left, the Colored Cemetery up on the hill, 540 goes back toward Chapman and Mount Olive, uh, and somewhere past that uh, is a cemetery in the pasture. Yes, yeah, that's Robert. That's the road he lives on. No, but I will. Well, there's one back in there that I went to last year sometime, but it's pretty clearly marked, isn't it? Lowry, yeah. You know, Lowry Methodist is no, back this, on this the is behind Boyd. Uh, I don't remember. Colored Col 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 McAllister? McAllister. I think yeah. McAllister is the one we went to. But isn't that behind Mount Olive Church? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About two doors down and to the left. That's right. Yeah, you go back in yeah, behind some trailers. Yeah. Or, uh, that's not it. Well, this, uh, th this is, that's the road, but the cemetery is located on two. And where, where that road comes out on the two, somewhere, just past that, and there is a curve that was mentioned to me, and there's definitely one there. There's a cemetery in the pasture. I don't know if the old days they could see all the way down to the Boyd Cemetery or not, but they could see the cemetery from the road. Uh, does anyone know of an old cemetery? Oh, Let's see what else I got here. The SCV is working on a complete restoration of the Confederate Memorial. Uh, Raymond said, I met with the Board of Supervisors and all the supervisors were present except Mike Graves and I'll attend to him later. I discussed what we're trying to do to repair and preserve the monument. <coughs> I gave them copies of the proposal from the Mississippi Stone Guild, reminded them that the county had received 90,000 insurance settlement in 1950. In 19 what? 1972. Mm -hmm. Let me read the report. Only, only 5,000 of that has been spent in setting up the monument. Uh, at its present location. Uh, I asked for the full 20% local matching funds required, 4300 and they took it under advisement. 
They promised to provide a commitment letter before the end of the month for the amount that they could commit to the project. Uh, Chancery Clerk McBride will prepare the letter. I should know what the supervisors are going to do before the meeting is scheduled August the 30th. I'm going to that meeting. Uh, I can make a report. You're going to be there, I guess, with the SCV, August the 30th. SCV meeting? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. With, with the supervisors on August the 30th. No, it's supervisors. Oh, well, I can't be. What day do we go to sleep with? That's a Thursday. Oh, when, when now? August the 30th. At 10 o'clock. That's on a Friday? 10 o'clock. See, that's, that's Friday week. That's a Friday. That's Labor Day weekend. Well, that's, that's when their next meeting is, uh, August the 30th. I'll be there. What am I going to do there? They say what time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've got library this month, but I'm going. Hopefully, the supervisors will come through with the full amount, and we won't have to go to the city and people's bank, okay? What's going on is, if you'll look at some old photographs, the monument used to be out, you see, on the west side of the square, kind of in front of where Grapevine Village is. Yes. A gay truck line hit it. All right? The insurance paid how much? $10,000, whatnot. They moved it to the east side of the square, but didn't move the bottom, the monument, and some cannonballs and all that kind of stuff. Well, what happened with the money is they put it in a general fund. Needless to say, it's not there anymore. You know, and it was supposed to be earmarked for restoration or repairing of the monument. Well, even besides that, these people that restore these things, they do a great job. The coroner camp uh, has done it. And so we uh, uh, but our camp has taken it on to, to refurb it. And we have some matching funds if we can raise so much. And then the supervisors will donate what, what they can to the matching fund for restoration of monuments like that, we can have it done. And so that's that's what's going on. That and you'll notice also he's holding a rifle and the, the tip of the rifle was knocked off. And but we're not gonna redo the, the, the platform like it was on off of the square there. But it needs to be redone. We're proud of it. We want to, to build it up. $4,300 matching funds, and, and the grants have been applied for, and what you need is a matching fund? Well, I don't know what that was, or was it 20000 uh, I asked for the full 20% local matching fund of $4,300, and the supervisors took it under advisement. Yeah. That's matching. Well, that's just like saying, hey, we'll get back to you again over here. Yes. Yeah. Well, let that. me tell you how you can save a buck. I heard this from a very good friend of mine who is historically inclined, if not hysterically inclined. Uh, he said Oxford has two statues and each one of them has a gun and they don't need but one. Wonder if I Come up missing? <laughs> I want you to account for all of my time until this project is finished, okay? You have um, some innovative solutions to this. I'm just passing them along now. Okay, the Main Street Association will have a banquet at this museum on August, that's the Thursday, August the 22nd, Thursday. Uh, at uh, early meeting, <coughs> socializing begins at 6.30, and here's where you're going to have to help out a little now. Uh, we're going to be the surprise honorees at that meeting, so you've got to look surprised when they call us. <laughs> they just thought how ridiculous it would be if they honored us and we weren't there. So I decided, okay, I'll, I'll tell you all, we're going to be the surprise honorees uh, at uh, the uh, Main Street Association meeting, 6.30, August the 22nd. Uh, that's coming up real soon. Yeah. It's like it's just Thursday. Thursday. It can't be August. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. 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 Thursday.
Uh, I've been debating it ever since she called me to tell me that I was going to be a surprise. Should we eat before we come? No. Uh, no. No, it's not. Oh. I, I said you have to spend well, this it, this isn't the Main Street Street Banquet, is it? Yes. Well, what happened to the big deal they had? Last year or so with a Baptist. That wasn't no, Main Street. That wasn't Main Street. Oh, no, that's, that's a Street. development foundation. Oh, oh, oh. Main Street met right out here last year. I was just thinking, man, that's your head outside. We'll be outside this year. Yeah. 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 We we don't, right. I think so. And we also <laughs> have our table reserved, so don't worry about uh, uh, responding. Just come to the meeting. How big is the table? I don't know. <laughs> First time we sit right here. Let's see how many people. Probably six. Slim down. What? It'll seem so. I think so. I'm not sure. That sounds right to me. Uh, let me uh, let me tell you something personally that could help you out. Uh, Pat fell down in the middle of the floor one morning at two o'clock, uh, and every time I touched her, she says, "No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute." And I thought, well, she'll be there all night long, or what's left of it anyway. So I called an ambulance, and they came out, and they got this little giant came out there and grabbed her up on the arms and set her up on the floor, just like that. And then he couldn't find her walker, so he set her back down in the floor, and when he got her walker, he picked her up and set her up there again. Uh, and I thanked him profusely for his help, and uh, he said it's a public service. Uh, and uh, so uh, I didn't have a chance for a group hug, but I really appreciated what he did for us. And uh, I heard, and I said, well, if you're going to do this as a public service, how about give me one of them $10,000 helicopter trips? And uh, he said he couldn't help me, but Ken can. Uh, uh, he's, he's got the applications. The man will talk to you on the phone. He even read the fine print to me on my application. And I, as I recall, it's a, a family of two for three years for $155, $150, I think, for two years. He said, if, 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 they, if they don't haul you anywhere and they have to call out the helicopter, you're covered when you pay up your contract with them for $150. Uh, and uh, got a little sticker from my windshield. Uh, and what else is good about this? Oh, they'll take your Medicare, whatever anybody charges you, they'll accept Medicare for the trip. Uh, and uh, you can supply applications to those requested, can't you? I can get some more. I wish you would. I'm so happy with that, I don't know how much to tell you what, how that pleases me. Now, it's time for, uh, just, hang on. Uh, have you got a report, Jerry? Got a report? I have it too. Have you got Tommy's report? Uh, we have in our treasury, as of today, $7,548.69. Okay, well, let's don't get the best copy machine. Let's get the other one. But let's uh, <laughs> let's begin to think of ways to spend this money. Uh, have you got a report? No. Okay. <laughs> Marshall, what was the amount? Seven thousand one. Seventy-five. Uh, Forty-eight. Sixty-nine. Thank you. Let me let me introduce uh, the, the speaker. Mm -hmm. And that's Catfish Lowry, uh, and uh, he has a uh, DVD, a historical biography uh, of uh, Mark, General Mark Perrin Lowry, uh, and I haven't seen it, so please tell us, and uh, you know how to push the on button. Well, I'll just sit right here if that's okay. Turn off the light. About all I've got to say is uh, this was done by our steward men in Blue Mountain College. <clears throat> we cut it to about a third, and you may still want to get it away. He talked for about half an hour, uh, hour and a half. This is cut to about 30, 35 minutes. Uh, like I say, it's, it's um, like, like Dr. Wilkerson's sermons up here at First Baptist. He said, they're just like a stick of baloney. You can cut them off anywhere you want. <laughs> 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 so with that, if you'll crank it up, we get nearly the start of it, and then it, um, we cut it off well below the end, and there's some little skips in the point. Well, your, your attitude is more generous than the Primitive Baptist Church. One of the things in their minutes was that you couldn't leave the meeting without permission. Thank you. I mean, all, all I knew was his name and reputation. I, I, 
They have no biographical information at all. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Uh, our next meeting, we'll discuss uh, our archive and any aspects of it that you care to. Uh, that'll be the next meeting. Right here for the meeting. Uh, but now, if we get if we get the folk from Jackson uh, to come, we'll meet with them because we want to be in the archive when they come. In the meantime, anybody that wants to volunteer, we've got plenty of work to do. <laughs> anybody, wants, anybody wants to meet over anybody there, we'll meet. go over there and show you what anybody the next thing is to be done. Oh, she, and she knows. Is it, uh, We've done it several times. Oh, she records? Oh, okay. okay. Well, if, you've, if you've done it, that right. still needs to be done. Just any, any, time, any time you want to do it, we're not, if we ain't got a doctor to walk with me, Joe. Okay. 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 Uh, Betty left without my permission. I've talked to her about that, but the rest of you may go. <laughs> <laughs>